How's everyone doing today? It is Monday, a little after five, and I'm getting ready for work. But I wanted to do a quick video to let you know what's going on this week. So in preparing to install the new part here, um, I, I noticed that this fusible link here is pretty bad. I ordered the part that goes alongside this, but when I was checking this one, just to inspect it, I noticed it was kind of brittle and you can see that crack right there. So I ordered both pieces that attach here and the other one attaches to this one here. So I ordered both feasible links and the piece that goes to the battery, which would be this here. So this and the two feasible links that attach here. I have those coming. They should arrive, I think, Tuesday. <clears throat> and so I was putting in the alternator, just trying to get the bottom work done. And I noticed a few things. Um, the major one is that there is a, the water pump was leaking. And so I started to <clears throat> drain the fluid and I decided okay I'm going to start taking off the water pump bolts and those suckers were loose so and um, you could look at all this corrosion here this build up and this water pump isn't or the water thermostat housing isn't that old so i would say that thermostat housing is probably four years old and there is another hose back here that is a little kinked uh, let's see if i can i can't i don't have my uh, flashlight here with me but it is back here. Um, I think it's this one right here. Yeah, there's a hose here where my finger is. It's a little kinked. I replaced this in the past. And so what I'll do is I'll probably take it off and trim it just a little. I got some a new gasket for this. So what I'll do is I'll pull this off the housing. I got a new gasket, some gasket seal some Loctite and then I wanted to get a new hose and this one isn't bad but and then I'm definitely going to replace these factory uh, clamps do that for the bottom as well um, and then when I was under there checking out the wiring Oh, I also need to fix the, there's a ground here that has a little bit of bare wire showing. So I'm going to cut that back a little, make sure that's all covered up. And then when I was under here, I noticed that the bottom bolts on the AC compressor are missing. So, I went by the junkyard yesterday. Didn't get any footage of that. The, the guy there was being kind of strange. He wouldn't, wouldn't let me in with any tools. And so I went and got um, a couple. Got a couple um, pieces of, or a couple visors. 
Still got my work back here for Palaka. Hopefully I'll get out there soon and install that. So I got a couple um visors. Sorry, I got a mess in here. I gotta get this ready for my son because I need to take it to school today. So I got a couple visors. They're not um, off of D21 because those are almost impossible to find. So I got some gasket seal, some Loctite, a thread locker, and a gasket. So let's see if we're, how these look. Oh, that's just the... So that goes there. Hey, look at that. They're about the right size. I need to see if I can change this out. See if I can change these. Um, looks like they might be, I don't know, threaded on there. No, that's a spring. Look, it looks like a spring. So I need to figure out how to get that off. And then I have a couple older ones that I was that I had installed. We got these off of a, another vehicle there a while back. And they didn't fit. They were too short. So I put those somewhere down here. Oh, way back here. So these will <clears throat> actually screw into the top. And they're just not long enough. So. Basically, so you can tell the difference here. Way different, see that? And so I need to see how to take these off. This one looks to be, if you can get this top washer off, you can likely maybe compress this spring, get the washer off, and this mounting piece should come off. But on these ones, um, let's see. I don't know. So if you have any tips, comment below and let me know. So yeah, that's what I got cut out for me this week. So I'll try to hit these early in the morning before work <clears throat> while it's nice and cool. And then I'll get the feasible links installed. Get the, I think I might just get a, I might just order a new thermostat housing because that one just looks junky and I don't want to spend a bunch of time just sanding it. Plus it'll look nicer. So I'll probably order one of those and probably just a new thermostat as well. And I also needed to get one of these. Look at this power steering hose is just way too short. So I need to look at the specs on these, get a new one of those. <clears throat> Um, 
I got a couple bolts. I actually got three bolts from the junkyard AC section, compressor section, but I don't know if those are the right thread or the length. So I need to look up those specs this week. And I am revamping the Relax and Surf website. So look for that sometime, maybe early next week. And I'll put the content back up there for the D21, uh, Silverado, and also the Escape. So that's what I got going on this week. Wish me luck. And I hope I can get this bad boy up and running so I can move on to my other projects. So yeah, that's what's going on. Everybody have a good day. Enjoy your week. Let's be productive. And <clears throat> thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Leave me some comments. And you guys have a good day. Hakone.